In this video, we are going to connect the bottom using the line tool. Uh, we're going to connect the top and left hand corner of the uh, circles up here uh, using our arc tool and we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Now to start things off, I'm going to use my eraser tool to come in and clean up my couple guidelines that I just don't need to have any longer. And that's all of them. My axes are all done and the inch and three eighths and one and one sixteenth are all taken care of. Now after I do that, I'm going to go to my line tool. Once I go to the line tool, I'm going to go to the bottom of my circle. Now this is the part where we find out uh, why the, the circle endpoints being in the right spot matter. Um, one of the things we've been instructed to do over and over again is when you make a circle, I always click on the intersection of the midpoint and then go straight up the guideline or straight out the guideline while we're making it. And the reason why we do that is so our endpoint ends up being directly below or directly out from that center. So I'm going to go to the endpoint and click and I'm going to click. If we find out that we're, our endpoints aren't in the right spot, you can just delete your circle and then recreate your circle uh, from the center point of another circle. Um, how you make your center points active is by hovering over top of the circumference and then it allows you just to go snap to the midpoint. Now, I'm going to hit escape because it's chasing my tool around. And the next thing I'm going to do is go to my arc tool. The arc that I'm looking for is the two-point arc or the second tool down. From here, I'm going to come in and I'm going to select my endpoint and I'm going to select my next endpoint and then slide down the piece until it turns blue or tangent with vertex. So selecting here, selecting here. Um, mine right now I already set it, but at the same time, if I slide down, see where it snaps and it says tangent at vertex? We're going to click that. And I'm going to do the same exact thing on the opposite side. Once I click here and click here, and it's tangent with vertex, selecting it, it should fill it in. If yours doesn't fill in, what's happened is you have misclicked and it's not closing off in one of the last things we did, one of our last endpoints. You'll see them not attached. But that's how we make our part. Um, in the last video here, we're going to dimension our part and get it ready to uh, send a layout. Thank you for watching the video.